Okay, so I, I, I this, I'm just doing this video kind of on a whim, uh, because ADHD still pops into my head, all that. Um, oh fuck, hit my thing. Um, so I have this ASMR video here pulled up by the lovely Cat Plant ASMR. Highly recommend her channel. Highly recommend to subscribe. She does some very good aesthetic ASMRs. So this, this idea popped into my head, like as a what if, you know, sort of like an alternate sort of universe sort of thing, you know, um, so she's, this is the 1950s barber shop. Okay. So the aesthetic's really good. She did really good scene decoration, really good, you know, the fashions there and all that stuff. Um, as you can see, she's even smoking a cigarette, which smoking was really popular, you know, back then. A lot of people were dying of cancer, uh, but before, and that's really when they didn't understand cancer that well. <laughs> so everybody was smoking. Um, it's not even thinking. Really good. Anyways, um, so I asked Chat GPT, all right, what would ASMR be like if it were popular in the 1950s? So it reads here, um, and you can, you guys can, I know you guys can read it, but I'm gonna read it out loud. If ASMR, which stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, were popular in the 1950s, it might have taken on a different aesthetic and style reflective of the culture norms and media of that era. Here's a specific take on what ASMR content would have been, or could have been like in the 1950s. All right, so we've got radio, so we've got uh, radio shows, ASMR content might have been primarily distributed through radio waves or shows sorry um people would tune in to listen to soothing voices gentle sounds and calming narratives broadcast over the airways all right number two we've got vinyl records um instead of online videos asmr experiences could have been produced as vinyl well, it says vinyl records, but I just say vinyl. Um, users could or would play these records on phonographs to experience the calming sounds and whispers of the era. And then we've got role-playing scenarios. So ASMR scenarios might have been crafted around 1950s themes with role-playing scenarios set in diners, soda shops, or drive-in theaters. The sounds of jukeboxes, the clinking of ice in the soda or in soda glasses or the rustling of poodle skirts could have been common triggers. All right. And then we've got whispered advertisements. ASMR content might've been incorporated or might've incorporated whispered advertisements for popular 1950s products, creating a relaxing and immersive experience while subtly promoting consumer goods at, of the time. And then we've got soft-spoken hosts. ASMR hosts might have adopted a soft-spoken, gen genteel manner reminiscent of the communication style of the 1950s. Politeness, etiquette, and proper language use would emph be emphasized. And then uh, household sounds. Content creators could have focused on everyday sounds from the 1950s households, such as the click clack of typewriters, the dinging of rotary phones, or the crinkling of newspapers. These sounds would evoke a sense of nostalgia. And then television programs. If television was involved, ASMR shows might have been presented in black and white format, featuring hosts in classic 1950s attire, providing gentle commentary and creating ASMR inducing sounds. And lastly, we've got DIY ASMR. ASMR enthusiasts might have created DIY recordings using tape recorders or reel to reel machines, experimenting with various sounds to trigger ASMR responses. And it closes with, remember, this is a creative speculation based on the cultural context of the 1950s. ASMR as we know it today is heavily influenced by the technology and media landscape of the 21st century so the form and distribute the distribution of asmr content would likely have been quite different in the 1950s 
So I was even speculating, okay? I had Jet, Chat GPT, you know, just answer this question for me. Because, I mean, who else could have answered it better than an AI, right? Um, and like I said, this, like, hearing all of this shit, this it makes me think of, like, an alternate universe where, like, ASMR, kind of like Fallout, you know, or ASMR became popular, you know, not, but but here's like my speculation. If ASMR became popular in the 1950s, would it, with the progression of technology, would it have became even more like like with video games, would it have became even more and more popular, like over the years with the advancements of technology, um, like I know we can't go back in time and say hey. You know, there's this really cool thing in the future called ASMR. It's 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 something that basically helps relax the brain and and gives like tingles to your brain that you know drugs and and you know even cigarettes can't even like do for you. And it's like you know, here's basically what you do. You just have a microphone. You you do a lot of whispering and you, and you make like really like soft noises and stuff that's not necessarily loud but is very like that gives you a sense of like nostalgia or like just you know it triggers some sort of response in the brain that kind of makes it tingle or soothes it so like i don't know like i know i know we can't go back but like it would just be an, it's just an interesting thought um i do want to close so she's not the only one that's you know done or is doing that she literally just uploaded this like about an hour ago so you can go to like i'll even uh open it up here uh, you can go to like search 1950s asmr and you, you've got like you know stuff like in in the aesthetics of it you know like tangled uh, bell, uh, whisper audios, this is the one I just watched, which I will, I will actually finish watching it, you've got, uh, you've even got, like, just, like, ambiance, you know, but you got, like, ASMR vintage mic by, Z oh, Zeitgeist, okay, yeah, he's a good guy, I like his videos, he's German, and he got Goodnight Moon, she's a good one, um, that did 1920s um, ASMR. That's even earlier. It's the Roaring Twenties. Um, so you got like all the, even Jim Chi did one. Uh, so you've got <laughs> fake mustache there. That's pretty funny. Uh, you've got like all these different videos. There's uh like even ice people do like ice cream shops and drive-ins so like and you can tell like obviously that chat gpt probably took some of its speculation from some of these like videos um yeah here we go lloyd asmr did like a breakfast at a vintage diner role play um i got glow i like her she's She's good too, uh, especially her French ASMRs. Uh, yeah, Angelica over here did a couple. So you know you've got you know plenty of there's another one by Lloyd ASMR, the news reporter from the 1950s. So and then, and then another one right here by Lloyd. Lloyd does a lot of 1950s stuff. Um, so yeah. Um, There is a, let me skip back to where I was at. So anyways, just something to really think on. Um, just like, I, it popped in my head and I was just like, oh, I need to share this, you know, with the world. And, and I need to have a YouTube video about it, I guess. But not a lot of people think about it. And think about the stuff I think about. 
you know, so takes a neurodivergent brain, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, I hope it's like, like you can probably tell right here, it's like 2 a.m. I'm going to get back to watching ASMR and just thank you guys for watching my video. I also need to get a thumbnail too for this video. I'll figure something out, but thank you guys. Hope to see you guys in my stream. Um, I, I stream on Kick, by the way. I don't stream on Twitch anymore, so just look me up, Jake Dark Thing 36 on Kick. I will also put the link to my Kick in the description of the video. Um, so yeah, all right, bye guys.